Hello, welcome to the game. Well, I guess it's the next game in the series, the Eternal Games. They plan a lot of games in this style. But the problem is that, well, they released the first game, Book of Demons, a few years ago, and I think they should have released this game much, much earlier. Let me see when the game was released. The Book of Demons was released on was released in this no not wait wait in 2018 13 December so you know what that means that means they it's almost four years so in four years they couldn't make a turn-based game using the same assets that's very bad in my opinion because they're also preparing the Book of Aliens which is some kind of an XCOM type of game with the same universe and the same assets so I don't understand why they needed so much time for this one. Truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. So, sadly, I will be stepping away from games like this that are just taking years to finish, and they don't even have the basic content needed to be fun, at least. I know all of the cards and all of the stuff because I probably watched that and seen it at some point in the other game. I thought this would be ready in a year, most. Or Tops, Warrior, Vigilante, Enchanter, Warrior. Warrior, Swordsman, yes, continue. Chose Destination. It's the same thing. This is. This is the same village they used in the first game. And it's also the same system, it's the same mechanics almost. I don't know why it takes so long. I don't want to be too I don't want to be too judgmental. But come on, make more progress on the game. Do I need to do I care not really? And the turn, enemy turn. Yeah, this could take a very long time until... So I guess we take damage the, at the same time, so let's do it like this. Okay, you can come and play with us right now. <laughs> I cannot move. Well, I wait, wait, wait. What is the mighty blow? Okay, so now we know. Yeah, I, I might be too judgmental on the developers, but they're just going to destroy this game as well. The first game was interesting, and I think it sold a lot of copies. So they should have just waited six or nine or even maybe ten months, twelve months, a year, and then they should have released this game. But now it's not even ready. Let's block get disarmed. I don't know, I just look at the damage. Kill Basa. It's a sausage. No, why is it? Did you find them? I don't think we find them. We found the... Ah, sure, let's increase our max HP. Let's go down. The game itself is not very bad because, again, this is based on another game, so the mechanics and the graphics and the art style is pretty good. They need to turn that off. They just need to say start. I, they don't even need to say start because it's a turn based game. <laughs> I don't think they'll be, they will be able to attack us unless they're in the minimum range like that. Sharp bones. Ooh. And that one doesn't have a head. <laughs> That's funny. 
I guess those will move and those will attack. Loose block and... Well, we'll get damaged anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're safe. Oh, we'll get one point of damage. But this guy is the problem. How does the damage work? I guess I'll take... No, I don't think we'll take damage. It's, it's an AoE attack. Okay, that was not so bad. Oh, we get to keep our block? Yeah, I'm not familiar with all of the mechanics, but uh, it will be an enjoyable game. I have no doubt about that, but... This would have been so cool in 2019, but three years later, it's it's it feels so washed away. Gain weak. At the start of a turn, wait, what what type of a card is this? I'm not familiar, so what does this mean? You gain to you gain pre block at every turn? But you do less damage. I don't know, let's take the Groundbreaker because I like damage. Let's refine that. Stamina. Oh, do I have stamina points? What is that? Short sword for damage. Stamina. Oh, it can be added or subtracted, but I don't have any cards that add stamina, so I guess we we'll just have to choose the short sword. Oh, we have two smithies. Hmm. May damage you instead of the target? <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Hey maker then. That is like a very bad idea to get punched punch yourself in the face. Get safeguard. I don't know, I don't know about the stamina cards. Oh I actually have a choice. Zombies, corpse, guarding corpses, or I like corpses. Yeah, the game will be good, I will play it as released as well, but yeah, again, it could have been released earlier and it would have it would have made such a great impact. And now the Book of Aliens will be released, but that's also very late from what I saw, not even a release date, the Flying Hog. Yeah, they have some special abilities, Rotten. Ooh. This is why I have the Short Sword, so I guess everything will attack me. I guess I should have put another shield block. But will not take uh, one point of damage. That's not a lot. It's okay, we can take one point of damage. Groundbreaker. Mighty blow. Oh, we did take damage because of the special thing, okay. I should have paid more attention to that. Hmm, I guess it will be a little harder to understand what's going on if you're going to play it at a very, very serious pace. I guess you get all of the cards from there back to here. So you should have the short sword soon. Oh. Uh, let's put up a shield. Oh. 
Okay, so it doesn't work the way I thought it would work. Okay. Ah, it's okay. This was not so bad. We lost only a few HP. So this one, I'll not get damaged, right? No, I'll not get damaged. Oh, I should have put up a shield there. My mistake. <laughs> A new card. Strain. Uh, what does Mark do? Oh, huh, Mark can be good. We'll take Whirlwind, of course. What's the point of taking more... Uh, more defensive cards if you can just smash them like that? Wild Strike. Crystal Sword? Or really? No, that's a bad idea. Search, get trap. Add free marks. That could be very good, but to be honest, Burry is the best option. Huh. Smithy. Smithy is good. Let's go and see what the camp does. Yeah, <laughs> the mechanics are so cool and it's so fun, but why did they do in this? Or is there only one developer? I don't know. One developer, I think. It's a bigger studio. Oh. Can attack from both ranges. That's bad. Nine points of damage, yeah, because this. Oh. Oh, the both of the goat men. I mean, one of the goat men will attack. Wait, so I have 6 damage. Well, yeah, and then I can use wild strikes. Oh, I should have killed the other one because that one didn't attack me. Yeah, okay. I guess it's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs> So what? Everyone defends? Crystal Sword is an overpowered ability, I can tell you that from now. I guess the, okay, it'll be okay. Now this guy has block. We'll take 3 points of damage, but we have the Crystal Sword, which is a broken card to get at this point of the game. Yeah, that might be a little overpowered. Sounds a lot better. We got a rare card. I guess we can remove one wild strike, but what would that get us? Uh, I wish I had more patch up wounds here. Let's patch up the wounds and go down. I guess we have to fight the boss now. Okay, see how good this is. It's crazy good and fun. I wish this was released so much earlier. I remember most of the cards from the original game. This should be, this should not be in the game because it does nothing. Just delay the game a few seconds more. It will summon. That's bad. Oh, but will take 11 damage because of those guys. Whirlwind. I guess this is the near range, so that doesn't really help me. Mighty Blow might be good, but can I finish them off with something else after that? Okay. Oh, my mistake, I didn't want to use it. Oh, well. I guess we'll just have to tank the damage. We don't have any defensive cards. Yeah, that was a mistake. 50 points of health. 
Unbelievable. Well, to be honest, I think we should just clear up the mobs before we try anything against... The oh, six points of damage, lo loony ghost. And when it dies, so can I not kill it? Well, I guess I'll have to kill it. Oh, that's one point of damage only because it's far away from me. And I deal one damage less. Well, that's not good. The bosses seem to be much harder than the rest of the levels. I guess they're not much harder, I just need to be better defended or prepared against them. And this boss had a lot of archers. Yeah, I need I really need to kill the archers. Well, I guess that's all we can do for now. We'll still take damage. But not a lot of damage, okay. I think we have stabilized the battlefield, at least for now. And those guys will upgrade their damage, which is bad. I cannot kill all of them, sadly. Yeah, this is kind of a weird battle because I was not prepared to fight an enemy that summons so much stuff that damages me so badly. Nah. No. Yeah, this is a problem, a big problem. Let's activate the Wheatstone. I like that you can see it over here. Seems like it's very hard to kill all of these enemies. <laughs> I mean, this is a little too much. You're supposed to fight all of them with the archers and the boss has so much health. I guess I could have used the crystal sword on him three times and that would have almost killed it. I just didn't get enough of it. No, what's with this boss fight? Come on, game. You ruined everything. It's not a boss fight. It's a, it's a Zerg rush against the player. No, I, I don't like this at all. How are you supposed to fight against this many enemies? That reappear every turn. I can do my best, but it's just overwhelming. I guess if I had more HP I could have won, but no, this is this is a very badly designed fight. Maybe the mage and the rogue will have better skills. What's the point of even trying? Okay, let's die and we'll try again, but this time we'll play faster. You just get stacked with a lot of cards like that. I think there are too many mechanics against the players up against the player in this fight. First of all is the summoning, second is the huge damage they can deal, thirdly the debuffs, fourth non-stop summons, five you get your deck filled with random cards. And why why doesn't it kill me? So it dealt so much damage before in the first turns, and now it barely does any damage. Yeah, we died. I'm not sure how you can go against that. But I guess it's a, it's a roguelike game, so we'll get better cards and you'll be much better at the game. I don't think I'll ever play co-op with this game. What would be the point? One card. No, the warrior is still the better one.
Това и това. Зомби от Волт. И това ще бъде голям гейм, когато си изфуржили. Ок, ще играем един малък раунд. Може би можем да убиваме босса. Това ще бъде по-бързо. Може да бъде по-бързо анимации. Това ще бъде по-бързо. 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 Това ще бъде Okay, so our first thing will be not getting any point of damage. Not even one point of damage will reach us. As I say that, I forget about the zombie special ability. Does shield actually carry over? I mean block. I think it should carry over. Yeah, it does carry over because you have limited action points. No, it doesn't carry over. Oh, and if you kill it, you don't get attack back, okay? Sticks and stones. Slam. Well, uh, that would have been a great defensive card, but I want slam first. So what does the vault do? Snatch. I like legendary artifacts. Skipping the card reward heals you for 7 HP. This is a legendary why, Aspen one. But it doesn't make sense. Unless you get very bad cards. No, first blood seems like it's the better option. Ruins, Vault. Well, I don't have enough money for the Vault, so let's go for the Ruins. Yeah, it's so cool. I guess it would be better if we... Eh, whatever. So I guess that means we have to kill enemies later in the fight, not directly. That's the point of the... Uh, I guess we, we have to weaken all of the enemies and kill them later. Yeah, we don't have enough cards to deal with this amount of enemies. Slam. Hero cannot block. Well, I guess I should have read that a little better. But I was just looking at the damage. Oh, the, yeah, I forgot. The hero cannot block. Well, okay. I guess it doesn't matter. But that first blood artifact really helped us a lot. That's a zombie. So first we block. Then we attack it. Oh, I guess this is easier. So if you kill it, you don't get any damage, right? Right. Huh, that was much easier. So this is stamina stuff. Lose or block. Seems like it's a bad idea to get a stamina card because you're losing damage or... Oh nice, we got the gemstones, so the ruins are very good for that. Boomerang shield, what is that? Ah, uh, no. Barricade. Uh, that could be good, but nope. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I get a chair again. Friendly toad. Nope. I guess that could be huge depending on how how it is. 
armory. Sage. I think I prefer the armory. Okay, let's go. Apparently this one we have many more artifacts that are super good and allow us to ramp up. Well, ramping up is kind of like a faster way of saying we get stronger better. We get stronger better. We get stronger uh, in a more in a more efficient way. Yeah, that's Oh, we get one damage from all of them? Well, that's a bad thing. Wait, why did one zombie die? Eh, again, I don't want to look at all of the stats and stuff. Yeah, I forgot I cannot... Okay, okay. That's okay. We heal enough points so we can kind of mitigate or out heal the damage we get. Oh, random. Okay, now I see why. I guess I want to have more on him. I have to start killing the zombies and that zombie as well because this guy's getting a lot of damage. I guess I should have killed him faster, but I was not in a position to do it. No, I, I have to I have to take the damage, I have no choice. I hope he doesn't attack every turn. He does attack every turn. If I do it mm. So he should always take the damage, yeah that's a good tactic. Yeah, this guy got strong too fast in my opinion. Now he doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, let's see how this works. So what is the legendary card? Mm, well, heavy sword probably. Equal to your block, but I don't have a lot of good block cards. I guess the heavy sword will have to be the one I choose. Yeah, the game is pretty uh, it's pretty build oriented and I don't like it. Healing, care, patch up wounds. Weld, hmm. The start of your turn in the next battle. Oh, this is only for one battle, then I don't want it. Okay, no. Refine. No, I want to make the I want to keep the mighty blow, mighty weaponry. in your hand so probably this will be kind of like four damage most two damage is unblockable ah. i don't think we'll be able to beat the boss corpse the ruins is the thing that we might find more stuff okay let's see this fight will be more interesting because we'll have uh, We'll have more options. So this is more utility versus more damage. Or last, last time we had more damage, now we just have more utility. Slam. Okay, I have to... Ah, yeah, we can kill it. Mm, this time we'll not make the same mistake. I'll not underestimate those guys. Yeah, I had to kill it this turn. Now everyone will just come and hug me. 
It might be overpowered for the monsters, like the skeletons, to gain extra damage. And that guy will gain extra damage as well, which is terrifying. This is actually pretty good. Because it counts itself, I think. Summon. I guess it's not such a big problem if he summons. I have to take care of that guy. I can wait and deal double the. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this will be a very hard round for me. Oh, that's an archer. Five points of damage. I lose block. Oh man, I, my cards are going to. Be, this is a disaster. I cannot lose block, you should also get... I think you should get a bonus from stacking the blocks. Because in some rounds that will happen. Oh, okay, so I only have... Red... What do you mean red cards? Alright. Yes, they should. They should just add an icon over here, a sword icon or something. It, it's annoying when games do this. Red cards? We just add an icon. I don't care about that. <laughs> Somehow we managed to kill so many in so few turns. But I guess that card can be overpowered if you have all attack cards. Like I currently do. Somehow we survived this terrible fight. <sighs> to your hand from so you get, you draw a card. That's weird. I don't like how that is worded. I don't like it. Also, I don't want to play with stamina, I just want to finish the fights faster. <laughs> yeah, I guess we didn't get any gems. Let's try the corpses. Yeah, we don't have any gems. I guess this will be a, a very bad run and the boss will kill us even faster than last time. Yeah, puffy corpse. They are basically bigger zombies. And that's why I'm afraid of them. Ooh, 6 damage. But we cannot really get... Huh, I guess the funny part is that you can use them as one hit wonders. This is very bad. I mean, I'm basically forced to play like this, otherwise... I will take too much damage. Yeah, 6 points of damage. Not a lot of options, to be honest. I guess we have a very aggressive build, but not a very defensive one. But I don't know how else to play it, I basically got some very good artifacts, but that's not enough. So I'll take 3 points of damage no matter what I do, well I guess we, can, we cannot help it. We ended up taking a lot more damage, but otherwise we wouldn't have killed anything. Okay, that was not bad. The game 5 block, I think this is a problem. They have to fix some of this. I think it's almost like the game wants you to play in multiplayer. That's way too strong, I mean. You can deal a lot of damage per turn, yes. 
But overall, you're going to sacrifice a lot of HP as well. 10 HP left. That was not a good. Uh, that was not a good, fi uh, good fight. Focus. Hmm. Oh, four. No. If you're some of the cards are only multiplayer. I don't like it. Fury. Fury is not as good as it makes it sound. I don't have any stamina. Offering would be a good option, a very good option. Insult. I guess you have no other choice, we'll just go and fight the boss like this. <laughs> Leave party. Yeah, it seems like you're supposed to play this in with a party. This is not going to work. I had much better cards last time. Scale Serker. Yeah, look at this. I'm going to get 8 damage in my first turn and that guy has 10 HP. I can't even kill one of them, so I guess it's kind of pointless to try and resist my fate. Bye, cruel world. They just buff themselves like crazy. I guess we can kill those guys. Oh, play a haymaker over there. Really? So I could have won this very easily. Okay, so I guess I just got very unlucky with that boss because this one is not as bad. I cleared up the entire board in two turns. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, if I had my other character in this fight, this would have been an easy fight. There are no enemies left. This guy is an idiot. <laughs> I mean, there, there are no other monsters left on the field, but he continues to buff them. Oh, he buffs himself. Okay. Oh, he does double damage. Wait, how do you get past the double damage? I guess you just have to block it. So 4, 11, I will, I will not have enough block to uh, Could have been an easy fight, but I'll just die because of the weird nonsense. He had 21 HP left. Take this! Companion, yeah. So, yeah. It could be a very nice game. I like the warrior. I don't admit it. I think the warrior has everything you need, especially in a single player scenario like this. How is the multiplayer? I don't. I will not play multiplayer, but I'm just curious. Oh, okay. So you create something. Quick play. Can you play, wait, can you create more characters and play with them at the same time? Hmm, that's interesting. So let's check again the co-op multiplayer.
Oh, I guess it's an easy multiplayer system, but again, they should have released this one. The other game was still being played because if you would play Book of Demons, you'll you'll 100% play Hellcard at some point. But now, no one plays Book of Demons, so who'll play Hellcard? Five thousand people, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. It's a great game. I I really like it.